Hey there folks, welcome along to another episode from Adventures in Internet Marketing and in this episode I want to talk to you about something you can use to increase the speed of your website. Now I actually talked about this on the blog just yesterday and so I wanted to kind of make sure that everyone who follows me and subscribes on YouTube gets the chance to uh, find out about this as well because it's really important. So this is something which is a really crucial factor in the world of online marketing which many people overlook and it's the speed at which your site loads. So right here I've posted this infographic and I'll, I'll link to this underneath the video but this infographic shows you how your load time of your site affects your Google rankings. Now, of course, I should have your attention already because Google is, I think, 83 or 84 percent of the search market right now, and it seems to be growing. So it's kind of basically taking over the internet. And if you're not ranking in Google, then you are going to miss out on a lot of traffic for your site. So this is a really good thing to check out. This is from a guy called Neil Patel, who is a, a bit of a, a guru when it comes to the world of, uh, of search engine optimization. And he's a real master when it comes to increasing traffic to websites and also making you more money. That's really his thing. So uh, his site is Quick Sprout, so I'd suggest you check that out. Anyway, this really shows you exactly how this all works and why you should go ahead and fix it. And in a minute, I'm going to show you some tools you can use to actually fix it and make your site run more quickly. I've also down here as well put in my before and after results from this particular uh, experiment that I ran. And the experiment uses a plugin called the P3 Plugin Performance Profiler. Now, uh, P3 obviously because it's Plugin Performance Profiler, those are the three P's. And you can see right here that these are the results of a scan that I ran on my site. Now I'm actually in kind of increasing this all the time and I've been again playing about with it again today using some plugins more than others and kind of changing features from Jetpack for example, turning off a lot of the features on Jetpack and that made my site run faster. So I've been playing about with it quite a lot and all in all what this has done for me, this uh, this plugin, is first of all I installed it and I ran a scan and the scan tells me, as you can see on the screen right here, exactly which plugins are causing my site to run slower, which ones are taking up the most amount of, of load time basically. And now I've got my site running pretty quickly. If you go and visit the site you should notice a fairly marked improvement in the speed at which the site loads. And this has been a pro real problem for me for quite some time. I've uh, I've had a real issue with the speed of my site and I've really not known how to improve it. So I went out and actually started to look around and find out what I could do and this was one of the things I found. And so I'd suggest you go and actually install this. Once you install it, you'll come to, uh, first of all, you need to go into the plugins menu and you'll see it uh, just down here. You can see you need to click on scan now. And when you click scan now, it will open up this window. Now obviously you won't have any results in this window, but you need to come over here and click on start scan. Now when you click on that, it will open up this uh, two sets of windows. The main window at the back is the one that's actually going to be doing the scan and the one in the foreground is the one that just talks to you about the scan name and what you need to do is go ahead and click on auto scan uh, manual scan is just a bit too messy and just takes a bit too much uh, effort really uh, especially if you're not particularly familiar with exactly how to do it which I'm not so uh, go ahead and click auto scan that's more than enough and what it will do is it will scan the entire website and help you to improve uh, the speed of the site which is very cool so once it's, uh, it's scanned the whole thing, obviously you can go back to this main window and it will tell you all the details, tell you how many plugins you've got active, how long the plugins take to load, and also the impact they're having on your page load time. Now I've been playing about with this and actually this has gone uh, really high right now. The plugin impact is pretty high. The reason for that though is because I'm using a plugin called W3 Total Cache, which I'll do a separate video on another time. I'll do a, a different episode of the, uh, uh, the, the, the podcast and the videos and all that in order to talk to you about that one. But uh, yeah, this is something you need to go and check out right now. So go and get the P3 Plugin Performance Profiler and it will just give you an idea of where to start because that's really the problem. You know, most people need to improve the speed of their site but no one knows where to begin. This gives you a really good place to start and it tells you which plugins are eating up the most amount of your time uh, when, it, when it comes to loading your pages and then of course from there you can start to for example uh, you know stop some of the jetpack features from happening automatically just to give you an idea I've actually uh, changed a lot of my jetpack features just to show you I'll actually go into jetpack itself and inside jetpack there's an awful lot of features that are wonderful but they do take up a lot of time when it comes to loading your page so for example the only ones now that I'm running are the publicize one uh, subscriptions option the sharing option uh, the contact form and uh, the enhanced distribution so that really all things that will help me to promote my site but those are the only ones I'm running everything else I've deactivated uh, all I went to was just went to the uh, learn more button and when you click on learn more it gives you the option to actually deactivate that particular option so again that's something else that I'd suggest you do is to actually go and you know get rid of a lot of those features that you don't need like there's some there that I'm never ever 
ever going to use. Like uh, there's an advanced mathematics display one. It's called Beautiful Math. There's no way I'm ever going to need to use that. I don't do anything in that world, and I have no desire to either. I'm very not very good at math. So this is something that you know you can go ahead and uh, and then you know not use on your site if you have a blog or a website that doesn't require it. So go ahead and uh, check that out right now. Go and check out the P3. Uh, plug-in performance profiler and uh, once you've installed it you just click on scan now and it will show you exactly what you need to change on your site so that's a very good good start and uh, in the next video I'm going to be showing you exactly uh, how you can go and make your site even faster using a very cool tool that I mentioned earlier on called W3 Total Cache so uh, yeah go ahead and check out that video make sure you subscribe so that you can see exactly when that video goes live and of course you'll find out more tips tools and news from the world of online marketing thanks ever so much for listening and I'll speak to you again very soon